hello everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in again um today i wanted to talk about body image um, and just like the surrounding subjects i've got a nice mug of tea that actually has a pair of boobs on it um it's from urban outfitters i really like it um and yeah i've got my cup of tea i also have a snack because i have a feeling this is going to be a long video um, and these are new McVitie's Thins, but they're milk chocolate and cappuccino flavoured. And they smell incredible, because I love the smell of coffee. So, I'm going to be, sorry about the rustling, I'm going to be sipping and nibbling as we go. Those are good. I approve. Let's begin. So, mm, I've made a video about like body image and body confidence, I think, a little bit before. That's like my body proud tag video, which I will link and put up here if you're interested. Um, but I just wanted to like touch base again in terms of that because I feel like I'm finally in a place where I'm probably like the most confident in terms of my body image than I think I've ever been before um yeah and I just wanted to talk about that because I am definitely like the biggest the tallest um the heaviest I've been like for my entire life um and yet I f for some reason I'm just like so much more comfortable in myself like I usually never would wear a top like this to like show off my shoulders because I used to be so self-conscious with my stretch marks but I think I've just gotten to a place I just don't care anymore <laughs> about the way I'm perceived by anyone um I'm not sure exactly what I've done to get to this point so I don't know I think I just got to a point of acceptance in terms of just accepting that my body is what my body is I've always especially like within the group of my friends I've always been the biggest the tallest um and I've been slimmer than I have before like much slimmer than this like a couple of dress sizes down but I was so much more like self-conscious and not that pleased with myself at all and I really didn't rate myself um and I like went to the gym and stuff I genuinely like before prom I remember this and like I had such a perception of myself of being so much bigger than I actually am I think you'd call that body dysmorphia but I really honestly thought I was huge and I was about like a size 10 or 12 still quite curvy because I've been someone who's always developed like quite early on. I've had boobs since primary school. My first bra was the C cup, so I, I probably should have been wearing a bra before then, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try and put in a photo here of me in a changing room trying on some like weird outfit because my taste in fashion has definitely um changed. Um but I remember thinking I was so huge. For some reason and also around then I think I was 12 stone and like my friends were about like eight to nine stone like ten at the most and I just remember thinking like I am like around four stone heavy than my friends like there's something wrong with me I'm so large and it's sad to think that I used to think that about myself but I'm also glad that I've come to a place where I don't so I feel like over the last year I've just like grown and and body confidence in terms of what I wear um, and I think like also even though it might seem superficial like what you choose to wear and put in your body I think definitely has an effect in terms of that because I think I've just kind of accepted the type of body I have and have just dressed for it and I don't mean like dressing to maybe flatter the way my figure is the most not necessarily at all but just things that I feel good in and actually going and buying clothes that fit you a bit better because I have put on um weight over the past few years and I think Hannah Witten mentioned this 
um, because she noticed that she put on weight and she actually decided instead of trying to like squeeze back into old her old clothes to just get new clothes that she felt really good in and I definitely kind of did that over the summer because usually I dread summer and like first of all I do not enjoy being warm or being like necessarily that revealing with what I wear but so I don't really have like I have never really properly had summer clothes but I decided to get a couple pieces this time around um, just so I could feel a bit more comfortable in this warmer weather because we had a terrible heat wave earlier this year um, and that really like boosted my confidence so these are like one of the tops I got which I absolutely love it's got this amazing like flared fluted sleeve um, and I love this top so much um what else like one thing is I'm probably like a bit self-conscious about is my stomach and I just actually just don't really care about it at all anymore because like I think one thing is that I realised that I, I've never been skinny or slim like it's not me and I also don't think I'd like what I'd be like if I was much slimmer than I was because I don't think it just suits the way that I am and the way that I'm built. Because I think, definitely think I'm big boned, and I know people throw around that term, but like genuinely, like my hands, I don't like have particularly chubby hands or anything. It's nothing wrong if you do, but I really struggle to find jewellery that fits because of how massive my knuckles are. Like I usually sometimes even get my rings from the men's sections because... I just have such massive hands and like bracelets are such a struggle like everything's on the last um, loop and usually I don't even wear bracelets because they don't even get past um, getting through my hand in the first place and like sometimes necklaces or chokers I really wanted to get into chokers recently but my neck I don't think I have a like particularly chubby neck or that there's lots of fat on my neck but they just won't go round and I just am of a slightly bigger build and a bigger frame than my smaller friends and it's something that I've just come to terms with because I just am bigger I've always been one of the tallest in the class um and I feel like I finally stopped trying to reduce and dwindle myself down into something that I really just naturally am not I am a bigger heavier girl and that's always the way it's been and I'm finally just accepting that I'm 20 so it's a shame it's taking me this long but I'm really glad I've come to this realisation um, and I really like how like plus size um, and like body positivity has just like kind of grown up over the past few years because it's made me so much more comfortable in myself um, and I don't know if I'm necessarily plus size maybe I am I guess I am I'm not like the medium or the average size but I don't know I feel like my proportions are just so weird because I've got really broad shoulders and I've got really big boobs but then like my waist goes in and that's like a smaller part of me and then my hips and I don't have like a big butt or anything I think it's like proportional to my body but then like my hips and my thighs are quite big as well so like I wear it varying proportions and then I've got really long legs um, and I don't always need to like buy on the plus size um, side of things but like I feel like I'm a very in-between kind of person I'm like tall but I think I sit between like the average normal sizing and then plus size but I feel like I'm really starting to embrace the plus size community and I just love that positivity and I haven't like really weighed myself um recently because I think it's really easy to think that um being a certain size on a, on the scales like is equivalent to making yourself happy or being healthy and that's really just not the case at all and also I think some people fail to recognize that like muscle is heavier than fat so if you do go to the gym and stuff and start working out you might actually end up putting on weight um so yeah I feel like weighing myself isn't really necessary or good or healthy for me um and I think it's more important to think about the way I feel and to like exercise for the right reasons because I want to because I know it helps um clear my mind um 
I know it's like a really good outlet of energy um, to just be healthier in myself and um, to build up my stamina and just trying to do things for the right reasons because I feel like when I initially like joined the gym in high school I really just wasn't doing it for the right reasons at all um, and I definitely got swept up in this idea of what beauty was mainly kind of what the idealised um, standard of beauty was and I wasn't it but I feel like I've slowly been coming into my own I think definitely it started when I cut my hair um, and I just let go of the fact that I'm not defined my beauty is not defined by the type of hair that I have so that was really liberating I feel like that's been like the first step on my journey to just kind of accepting who I am and what I'm like but yeah I don't know how much more there is to say about body positivity but yeah I just feel like I'm in a really good place and I'm just embracing the fact that I'm chubby I've always been chubby I've never been been that slim maybe like in nursery or like when I was three or something I was maybe a bit more proportioned like better proportioned but I definitely remember being um like eight or nine and being like chubby like I've just been chubby so yeah I feel like yeah over the years I just kind of I'm coming into myself a bit more I just thought I'd share that with you guys um yeah I just feel like I'm in a really good place in terms of that and don't get me wrong sometimes I do have days where I'm just like oh I'm a gross blob um existing and I'm just like ew but I try and like remind myself that you know you have some good days and bad days and it's a work in progress also I try and remind myself that I'm at university and if I could I mean I can join the gym and stuff but I just know that I'd rather focus on my studies right now rather than trying to like I don't know tone up and like get a certain weight it's not my priority right now I know for some people it is and they can balance um, going to the gym and going to uni but I tend to be like quite dedicated to my work so I'd rather work on that and I do um, like try and make healthy choices. I've got like a hula hoop, I love hula hooping. Um, I don't have an aversion to like being healthy or being a bit more conscious of what I eat but I just am not letting it be like at the forefront of my mind and like restricting myself and just trying to live um, quite a balanced life when I as and when I can and I love going for walks it's one of my favorite things to do if you follow me on snapchat sometimes I get get up really early in the morning and just go for a really long walk like for a couple of hours it's I really enjoy that um but yeah I just thought I'd share that piece of information with you but yeah I think it's really important to maybe work on in terms of body positivity just kind of work on the way you see yourself first and trying I think it's really important to like accept yourself for who you are first and then from that point make changes that are respectful to yourself and your body and always do things from a place of kindness to yourself um, and I'm currently reading Grace Victory's book um, no filter and she was talking about things like this and mentioned how if you wouldn't do it to a friend of yours like don't do it to yourself like being restrictive with food or like starving yourself or like binge eating and things like that like always just do things from a place of kindness and I feel like that's quite a good notion to go off things um so yeah I think that's where I'm probably going to wrap up this video but yeah I'm feeling quite happy about things and I'm not really concerned about bits protruding and like my lower the lower part of my abdomen like that's supposed to carry more fat because you know um my body's kind of been like made for childbirth and like growing a human so I tend to carry more fat in my abdomen and there's like nothing wrong with that um so yeah I'm not too bothered about stuff like this anymore um and it really doesn't concern me what other people think so yeah I hope that you guys can 
are in that place or are hopefully getting to that place. And one thing I definitely say is like following people on social media that also come from this like place of kindness um, and just acceptance is really great and empowering as well. So that's just like a daily reinforcement of things like that and I, I think that has really also helped on me enjoying myself and also surround yourself with people who are like nice and kind to you and say nice things about you and if you can if anyone's being mean or horrible you know like check them on it because I think that's important yeah but I think that's everything I want to say really I don't know what else there is to say Oh, seeing the boobs on this just made me remember. Maybe let's just talk through, let's say let's talk, me talk through some things about myself that I'm probably insecure about. Um, one thing is my boobs, my boobs are massive and I feel like they just de develop so fast. So they're not particularly perky or anything like that. I think it's um, the slum flower and Grace, they've been like really nice and vocal about having like not the perkiest boobs out there and like acknowledging the fact that gravity does exist. Like my boobs and a bra compared to not a bra are completely different. And I feel like there's also this like great expectation of what boobs should look like, but they come in all different shapes and sizes. Some aren't like they don't look up, they don't always match. They're not like twins. Um, some can be bigger than the other, some can be lower than the other, there are different types of nipples, different types of like areolas and all stuff like that so I think that's also one thing is just embracing that and also just try and remember that like first and foremost boobs are not really meant for anyone else's pleasure but for newborn children to give them milk and to nourish and sustain them. Like I've been honestly saying this since high school, like they're just these fatty protrusions that are off your chest that have somehow been sexualized, which like boggles my mind, but I mean, here we are. And that's really the, what they're there for. So I feel like people should just get over them really. And also people need to stop being offended by nipples on a breast because the internet for some reason gets really offended by that like a, a man's chest and his nipples are fine but if it's a woman's it just like has to be censored and whatever but yeah they've been over sexualized like they are just chilling doing what they need to do so yeah don't worry about them it's just not that deep the point of for, of their existence is not to you know please like grown adults or make them feel comfortable or whatever they're for children um, and babies so let's just let's just be free of that and also like I feel like I need to touch on cellulite because cellulite doesn't really exist it's just this made-up concept and I was watching a body image video by um I want to say Emma's Rectangle, she had a friend with her who I don't remember the name of her but she was like, she's quite sporty and she was talking about how um, fat appears differently on women because apparently it's like, fat is like arranged in lines in the body and on, in women it crisscrosses so that's why you kind of get that like dimply look of cellulite um, on the body and that's why it looks like that and you can't help it really because that's just the way um the female form is has been made so yeah forget about cellulite stretch marks and all that like it really just doesn't matter at the end of the day like you as a person like the content of your character is much more important than the body you're, you're in but having said that like look after your body be kind to your body um and yeah respect it and also just remember that it's for getting around and it's not for it's not something that's supposed to look pretty and like please the eyes of the world it's for it's a vehicle for you to get around in do things um so yeah i think i've said my piece yeah i'm happy with this i really feel like i went all over the place and rambled with that but this is part of my internal rambling series and I hope that you enjoyed this. 
and I feel like I want to do a bit more like sit down chill videos with you guys let me know if there are any other topics you might want me to talk about um and I hope that you're enjoying my recent and regular uploads lately I say regular they have not been going up at the same time every day but they're going up nonetheless and I hope that you've been enjoying them um so I will see you next time with another video bye